Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Crypto Entrepreneurs Podcast with your host, Charles. Enjoy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode 44 of the Crypto Entrepreneurs Podcast. It's your host, Charles the Eth, and today we're going to be sitting down with Blackout to talk about how to run a successful referral link campaign. Um, so this man's got like 10 plus years um, of marketing experience. He's run a number of campaigns himself, a lot outside of crypto and then a couple in uh, in the crypto space. And, uh, you know, you've seen him on Twitter. Exchanges do a lot of them. Um, and it truly is a great way to kind of get them set up and then make some passive income off of it. Uh, so we're going to kind of give you the, you know, step-by-step process on how to run a successful campaign Um, and I don't want to get too much into it Uh, we'll leave that for the expert Uh, so without further ado here's Blackout Uh, so Blackout before we get into this whole RefLink um, topic that we're going to be discussing today can you just give us a little background on what you were doing before you found cryptocurrencies yeah man so like I uh, was saying before when we were talking I used to be a mechanic (laughs) i got my hands dirty fixing engines and things like that we used to it was me my cousin and my stepdad we we ran a nice little operation for one of those places to go out and do the road closures and things like that all their trucks and uh you know i just a lot of hard labor i eventually started looking for other options and i discovered um affiliate marketing things like that and i've always been into computers and stuff so um always online just checking different stuff and then I, I don't know when it dawned on me but I was going through somewhere I was going to buy something I don't remember exactly what it was and I seen affiliate program I was curious so I, I delved into that a little bit and kind of seen that you know you can get paid by referring traffic uh, to people's you know businesses sites and you get a cut of what whoever you send buys so I was like oh okay you know we'll dig more into that kind of check it out and there was also a lot of uh, guys doing like keyword marketing and building sites, you know, blogs and stuff like that. I've always just been interested in everything like that. So uh, started started dabbling in it, learned about it, and you know, back when I was a kid, I liked to I liked to buy Pokemon cards and flip those at school or wherever I was going. And I've just always been into buying and selling stuff and how business works and things like that. So that's about where I am now but one, the thing that got me into cryptocurrency was that I did have experience with traditional markets uh, you know stock market thing like that and uh, it took I wish I would have known about it sooner I think everybody does but I was just I was kind of skimming around online and saw somebody talking about Bitcoin and stuff like that and you know sparked my curiosity especially how it works decentralized money things like that and uh, that sent me down a huge rabbit hole and back in about 2014 2015 I did a lot of research on it kind of got my feet wet with mining and things like that and kind of just decided to start putting some money into it and here I am now perfect man so it sounds like you've kind of been you know all over the board you said you started out as a mechanic um, blue collar work you're working with your hands <laughs> um, and then you're like you know that's not for me I'm it's gonna definitely not for me yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna get into something a little less taxing on the body um, mm-hmm. so then you, you saw this, you know, affiliate marketing stuff and it sounds like you've been doing it for quite some time now. Um, so I'm glad I can get you on to, you know, speak about this topic and then moving on into ref links. And then with regards to crypto, you talked about, you know, your involvement in the tri- traditional markets. Um, and then, you know, just being online, seeing, you know, people talking about it. Eventually you found your way to cryptocurrencies in 2014 or 15, um, and it's funny because, you know, some of the people I have on here, this is the first market they've ever traded. Uh, it's some of their first investments. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, I, I don't know if, you know, it's a general thing, but I I'd say that <clears throat> at least half of the people that I've talked to, um, this is their first market. This is their first investment. Um, and this is where they're getting their feet wet. So it's nice to talk to somebody who's had some past experience um, so I really appreciate yeah, well, on that point too is sorry to interrupt. No, I, I no, you're fine into it. But um, I think it's more status quo for people to find cryptocurrency more now than ever than anything else, because that's what's new and exciting. And, you know, 
the generation that is currently looking to invest in things that's what they're going to see first it's it's kind of weird how the how the attention has shifted that way it's it's pretty cool yeah yeah i mean it it blew up in the news and i think that's what really got people a lot of people interested oh, yeah. um, i know Most a lot definitely. of people who i talk to on twitter it's 2017 2018 2019 or at least a lot of the people that i've seen who are following me recently um so they're very new to the game um and also people are getting rich online and you're not ex- here's how you can find out more <laughs> exactly yeah yeah that whole media blow up <laughs> phase really got a lot of people interested um and then also the fact that you know you can sign up on an exchange relatively easy it's getting very harder easily. yeah it's yeah, the bar the bar for entry is very low i mean but yeah now like you're you're about to get into is it's become a lot more difficult to I'd guess keep it keep it so anonymous without having to risk all your information being out there, and especially when you hear about a lot of these hacks and stuff like that. Where even with the credit bureaus, the reporting agencies, you know, they're they're not safe from your information getting out there and people being able to manipulate that how they see fit. No, and I think a lot of people are kind of weary of exchanges that are asking you to KYC. Um, mm-hmm. I re- I remember with Binance when I first signed up, it was you know an email. I'm pretty sure that's all you needed. Um, yeah. And now it's like, okay, we need, I know Binance US now has got, you know, we need your social security number, uh, pictures of your passport or your ID. Um, what you had for dinner last week. Exactly. Uh, you know, last time you went to the bathroom. A, a <laughs> selfie with your passport. It's it's getting crazy. Um, but, okay, so that gives us kind of the general background on yourself and the experience that you have um, and why you can talk about this stuff. Um, and I know when we talked previously in the DMs, you had talked about the fact that you had made your first dollar online through referral links. So mm-hmm. can you just explain to us how these referral links work, um, some of the programs that you've participated in, um, and then if you feel comfortable with it, just a ballpark estimate on how much money you've made, uh, just to give my audience a general idea of how lucrative yeah, no, this can be. No problem. Not an issue. Um, so, I mean, referral links, I, I would imagine almost everybody knows what they are. Uh, how they work, though, is basically you have somewhere that's wanting you to bring traffic to their their platform. So they offer these affiliate or referral links that basically tie an ID to you saying that, hey, I sent this link to somebody and I, you know, whatever I did, they clicked it. They're on your site now. You get credit for them actually using that link if they sign up and uh, do some prerequisite type actions where be it, you know, verifying their account with KYC, depositing a certain amount of money, making a purchase. And uh, usually if they don't do that right away, most referral link programs have a cookie that they put in to the person's browser. So that way you still get credit for it, say couple days down the line i think it's up to 30 days is the most common there's more or there's there's longer ones and it depends on when people delete their stuff but uh you still get credit for that say if somebody else sends them there after you were the first one to do that um some of them have the cookies that get replaced and stuff like that but a ref link a ref link in general is a a link that a, a business or a company gives you that you're using to make money with so that way you can send traffic to their platform and earn money for yourself by other people's action. Perfect. Yeah. So that's you know it's pretty much a win-win for everyone in the situation. You direct mm-hmm. some some traffic to a site, um, and there's you know tons of different types of programs that are available, um, and then you get some sort of reward or benefit um, when they participate in what the site is looking for. I'll be could be exactly. you know yep. a sign up, a purchase, like you were saying. Um, so can you, can you now walk us through some of the referral programs that you've participated in? So me personally, I, uh, started out with a site called ClickBank and they're a digital product, uh, provider. So basically people create these PDF eBooks or courses, things like that. And, uh, they have, you know, a list of the affiliate programs for those things on their network. And you get to pick like based on your interests, say me, I was into video games and, you know, selling products online and things like that. There's a product, basically basically you're selling people's products that teach you how to do the things that you're getting people to go there for. So it's kind of a weird reach around type thing. But um, I started with ClickBank and 
kind of found found a couple products I was interested in, video game tester network, um, strategy guides for certain games, things like that, things that I had, you know, somewhat of a decent knowledge about. And I uh, built built a couple landing pages because, I mean, that's what was working at the time. I used sites like blackhatworld.com to go and see how other people are making the money and things like that. And they walk you through a couple strategies and you tweak them to, to how you want to do it. But generally what I do is when I was doing it, I was a, uh, I would set up a website, have, you know, a couple soft sell type things like, Hey, are you interested in blah, blah, blah. And, uh, if you want to learn more, go check out this, this link. And that's a very basic generalization of what it was that you, you, you got to tweak it in a little bit more, but I, I would create properties that you would put online and try to rank those for certain keywords through Google. And then, um, I would send a lot of traffic from article sites and you know write a lot of content and basically just try to funnel people into my link somehow uh, with my sales copy and things like that. And you know I made a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there, and I was like, oh shit, this actually works. And uh, it was kind of game over from there for me, man. Yes, he saw kind of, I mean, you're putting a lot of effort in at first, um, but you're seeing that, okay, this is generating some money. Um, Mm -hmm. and that's when you were like, okay, let's go for it. Uh, so were there any other ones that you've participated in? And then can you maybe give us a ballpark just to give my audience an idea of how, how lucrative this was? Yeah. Yeah. So for me, um, what, what you decide to focus on is going to dictate how much you make because you have a certain pool of weak or there's kind of, there's weaknesses in each, in each niche. So if you're targeting long tail keywords, like how do I, you know, pull hair out of my toe or something? I don't know, just a certain keyword that somebody's going to search for. You want to try to be the one that's top ranking for that. So the amount of money you're going to make is going to depend on the niche and the person's intent to either solve a problem or, you know, get information or training in a certain topic. Now, some of the other ones I've used was, was Amazon. Uh, so, people that are interested in buying things online like they, they want to uh, buy a say a new mic for a podcast online that would be a keyword so I'd rank stuff for that so uh, you get a cut of the sale from Amazon as well and stuff like that so uh, normally after everything's set up and you know it, it takes a little bit to, to start getting the traffic rolling in because you got to rank your, your properties and things like that so I would I started off I think I was making anywhere from about $100 a week after a couple months and then I started to scaling it up from there to you know eventually have 10 different niches I was covering uh, making anywhere from 1200 to you know 3200 a week and that was after about a year and a half two years so it sounds like at first it was kind of that slow you know you're making like slow a slow burn man yeah yeah, yeah you're making a hundred you gotta bucks build a up week. the foundation you gotta build up a foundation to understand what you're doing tweak things that you're doing wrong and then just optimize it, constantly do it, get new traffic sources, uh, find new ways of promoting your stuff, new new uh, new places you can put your content, and just waiting for Google to say, hey, you know, for this keyword, I think you should be ranked here. And you watch, kind of addicting. It's like it's like trading. You 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 get addicted to how much your your website's going up or down in the rankings for a certain keyword every every day or every week and. It's actually pretty cool, man. It's it's a little bit of a science, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so you can really track that progress. Um, and I feel like a lot of people give up before they get to that. But it sounds like you really put in the work. You were starting at a hundred bucks, you know, every month or so, and you built Dude, it up. I saw, I saw that it worked once. I was like, oh shit, people are actually buying this stuff. I'm gonna keep doing this and see how much I can get that number to go up to. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it became an addiction. Yeah, and a lot of people do give up at first because they don't see the results. Everybody wants that instant gratification. That, yeah. that goes across multiple spectrums. People, people want that instant, instant win, man. But they don't want to work for it. Yeah, this is kind of that perfect example of sticking with it and then also tweaking, making the tweaks that you need to continue to grow. And then by the end of it, you said you were making anywhere from like twelve to thirty-two hundred bucks a week. Which, a week, is, yeah. which is insane. Um, <laughs> and, and those were on the best weeks, man. It goes up and down just like everything else. It's based on the economy of the interest and the traffic for a given 
a given month and seasonal stuff. So exactly, it's it's a very fluid thing. And then you know you also talked about just depending on which niches you're in, um, it's really going to dictate how much money you're you're bringing in. So I kind of want to talk on uh, the like, cryptocurrency space uh, because I've seen countless referral programs. Um, so can you just give us a rundown of some of the the programs that you've seen? Um, I know you said you haven't participated in any, um, just because it's not really something that you feel. Uh, I, I I'm sorry, I, I that was a lie, I guess, because I have done a couple. There uh, we go. The the two that I that I did just to like, hey guys, you know, check this out. It's pretty cool. I did it, you know, posted once or twice. Was uh, consensus S E N token. Okay. And uh, etch it. HXRO, I think it's heroes how they use it. Yeah. But the uh, the betting, you know, everybody knows that the betting site you 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 bet a certain if it's going to go up or down against the BTC chart, and uh, I did those two. But seriously, there are countless you know exchange ref links uh, for like Binance, Bitmex, you know things like that. Uh, airdrop tokens is is a huge one. I haven't seen a lot of those lately though. No, and then, uh, those seem to have died off completely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that and the ICO uh, ICO programs. The ICO programs, I think, were probably the most prominent as far as RefLink goes, other than BitMEX, because you know everybody wants to get that free little little chunk of coins for themselves, and you know they they send all their their followers and things like that to it. You see it a lot on Twitter. Honestly, I haven't seen a lot of uh, RefLink promotion for cryptocurrency done off or other places online except for like medium articles and stuff for people that actually do post financial or technical analysis type content and you know on youtube and stuff like that people doing videos of charts and that, that's where you see most of that stuff yeah so it's mostly you know content creators who will drop their ref link in um, and then yeah. a lot of shill campaigns on twitter um and i think the most prominent ones lately have been the exchanges um uh, everyone who's listening to this and everyone who's on twitter has seen them uh, countless exchanges, people are shilling their links, um, and they've got a, num a number of different benefits. Um, you know, you get like a percentage of their trading fees. Uh, right now, Binance US is doing like fifteen dollars per sign up. Um, mm -hmm. I think uh, Beeksy was doing one where you'd get a certain number of tokens plus a percentage of their fees once the exchange went live. Uh, so there, there's just countless ones out there. Um, and you know we don't need to go into all of them, but um, <laughs> oh, we'd be we'd spend a couple hours here, man, and we'd barely touch the surface. Yeah, we we'd be here all day. <laughs> um, but no, you t you touched on the big ones, um, and we kind of got those. Um, but okay, so you know you kind of walked us through this general formula that you can use, um, where originally you had set up a website, did some soft selling, and then you told them, hey, check out this site, um, mm -hmm. and you were ranking keywords, and you know. We're doing putting out a lot of content and then sending people to these sites uh, through your referral link. Um, but can you just give us, you know, the the A to Z kind of formula that that's used to get people to follow your ref links and how to make money um, using them? Because I think a lot of people are interested in it, um, but they're doing it the wrong way. So can you just kind of walk us through that formula? Yeah, um, absolutely. That so you used. Yeah, absolutely. The The one thing that you don't want to do is create a new Twitter account, put your ref link in your bio, and expect people to click on it. That shit pisses me off. <laughs> like, these are these newer accounts. I mean, I get it, man. You're, you're, you're trying. I, you know, respect for that. You actually put some effort through. But the fact that you're depending on just that to get you, get you referrals and things like that, it ain't going to work. No. You, you can't just put something one place where nobody's going to see it and expect to get results so the one thing where you want to start out and this is what i usually do for any any project i start either if it's for me or for a client is i start at the base which is creating a what's called a landing a landing page where you either decide hey i want to either build up a list of emails or social media contacts followers whatever you want to you want to build your audience then promote to them offer offer some kind of a benefit to them like why should they be following you where what information you giving into them or you just promote into them the whole time nobody wants that so what I, what I normally do is create that landing page get all my links set up and everything like that I use that as my main hub for for sending traffic to 
And at first, you know, I'm going to test a couple different traffic sources, uh, which would be if, if, like I said, I'm interested in certain things, I have knowledge on those specific things. And this, this goes for every niche, every, every topic, every, every type of industry. You're, you're going to want to go on a couple of article sites like Medium or create a little blog or something and just start writing about what you know and try to send traffic through that way because you're going to start ranking passively for different keywords either through um, Google or you know any of the other search engines uh, you share it on social media it's going to get passed around and viewed a little bit and you're going to get an idea of if that traffic you're sending to it is going to ever convert which means they've clicked on your link they've completed an action you've gotten a certain amount of money and once I once I do that a little you know light testing um I'm going to explore scaling it, which would be, uh, and you guys have seen this before on coin market cap, where you see the banner ads and things like that. You, you can get those usually pretty cheap depending on the time of year it is or what, what the current landscape of the market's looking like. And there's tons of other sites you can get banner ads and stuff on. I'm going to do some of those. I'm going to pay, you know, a dollar per 10,000 views or something like that and see if that starts converting traffic. And that's the most, that, that's the highest velocity uh, testing you're going to get because a lot of people are seeing it at once. You get to react quicker to what's working and what's not. So I test uh, maybe a different landing page for half of the other traffic and see if a couple changing a couple words or something like that's going to cause more people to click the link. And then just either outsource content creation, uh, which would be you know paying some people to write articles for me, posting those online with my link, send more traffic to my landing page and then just start building it up, building up a foundation like that where you have a hub, uh, which is your main main spot, and then you have your spokes, your, your hub and spoke system, which is all the other stuff that's driving traffic to it. And every, every different area you wanna generalize in or focus on is gonna have different, better ways of doing that. So I don't wanna get too specific, but from, from start to finish, you need to, to build something uh, your main spot, which is going to be where generally all your ref links and stuff are in a nice presentable way. Um, if you can get a get a, a .com or .info or something that's branded for that, that campaign and uh, basically mask the link so that way it looks like a .com but it sends them to your ref link. And that's a... I can't even think of what the exact name for it is, but it's a, a, a redirect. You redirect them to your ref link from your .com domain. And they're super cheap. You can get them cheap on GoDaddy or HostGator or things like that. You don't even have to pay for hosting if you don't want to build a site up. But um, I'd say that's the first thing for people with ref links is getting something like, you, you see Shower do it, you see a whole bunch of these other bigger guys do it. They'll say, you know, fuck bitmex.com or something like that. And it'll link to FTX or Binance some, somewhere else. But it, it captures that interest enough for people to click on to see what it is. Sometimes you get trolled and it's, you know, not anything you were expecting and you wind up seeing some old dudes blowing each other online. <laughs> and that's never fun. No. But <laughs> that that's the absolute first thing. And then just learning how to create content. You need to create content. You need to create something that offers value for people that you're trying to interact with. Give them a reason to maybe learn something and then click the link or, you know, create some kind of curiosity. So that way it, it, it drives more clicks. And that eventually turns into more money or benefits for you. So you you have you know a very clearly defined process. I mean, it's almost meticulous in a sense, uh, where you create that landing page, you promote it, um, you promote some sort of product, and then you have those links that you know get sent there. Um, and another big thing that you touched on was this idea that you need to create content that'll generate those clicks. Um, and you, you talk about those people who hop on Twitter and just have like a BitMEX link in their um, Twitter bio. And, you know, I don't think or anyone. Or, or... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, or, or a tip link like, hey, send me some, some UTC <laughs> here for no for no specific reason other than you just want to be a nice person. Yeah, I, I just don't <laughs> think those ever work. You know, um, the, the most successful ones I've seen are people like, you know, Romano or Gainsey who are posting stuff yep. that brings value to the other person in the relationship. You know, Gainsey, it's an algo. Um, with Romano, he posts a lot of trading tips. And then he's like, hey. Yeah, his, 
he tra- he posts his trade setups like what he's thinking and if you want to either a counter trade him he likes to create that that uh that uh what, what do you call it anyway he he creates that animosity between people that like oh you're not right you're wrong and yeah they, you know, they want to click it and go short instead of long but yeah word for word it's like counter trade me here yeah exactly um so yeah these guys are providing some sort of content and there's a benefit to you using their link um, and mm-hmm. it's kind of like a repaying them for what they're providing for you. Um, exactly. And then, so you want to make sure that you're converting, or after you've kind of built that base, then you want to start to scale. Uh, you talked about, you know, banner ads. They're super cheap um, on places like Coin Market Cap, and th- that gives you an opportunity to really tweak and fine tune uh, these campaigns that you're running, so that you know if something's not working, you can make a quick change um, and make adjustments. Uh, then you mm-hmm. you finished with and then, sorry go ahead and, def- and definitely explore other you know traffic sources from there whether it be uh, Facebook ads, Instagram stuff things like that you, before you go into the higher tier of paying for for ads that are a little more expensive that bring higher quality traffic you get to tweak in your campaign so that way you know it's going to convert and it's going to be worth it so that way your your cost per acquisition is low you ain't paying five dollars for an ad and only making a dollar off a person for that five dollars you know you don't want to lose money you want to maximize the money you're putting in and getting out exactly start start small grow make the tweaks as you're growing um, and then you finished off with kind of outsourcing um your articles once you've gotten to a point where you're big enough um so thank you i really appreciate you giving us kind of that rundown um it's funny because i've thrown a couple ref links up and it has been nowhere near you know, this scale, um, or this Mm -hmm. meticulous, it's always just like, Hey, you know, I've been on Twitter for a while. I provide some (laughs) funny content, use this link. Um, thank you. Um, I think, yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And like, you know, those aren't very successful. I think the most successful one I've ever run is the one I'm still kind of currently running, um, and kind of pushing at people, which is the Binance US. Um, and I, I think I had, I, in the week that I had kind of promoted a little bit, um, I had like 75 people sign up. And, uh, when you sign up, you get $15, um, when you trade a hundred dollars in volume. And so I was like, Hey, you guys, you know, if you get on Binance us and trade that hundred dollars in volume, you'll make $15. And on top of that, I'm going to send you over 10. So I was netting five from every one of those. Um, which was, you know, somewhat successful, but I think the key point there was I was providing some sort of benefit. And then my goal with that was that after they get up and running, um, and they change their model, hopefully to a, Hey, you're going to get a percentage of your, um, users fees. I'm going to make some money on the back end off that. Um, but other than that, I haven't run too many successful ones. Um, or ran many in general. So I, I want to thank you for kind of walking us through that whole process right there. Um, and for anyone who's listening who maybe missed something or is struggling, um, you can reach out to me. I don't know if you're you're okay with people reaching out. I, I, am, o- I am okay with it as long as you guys at least do the due diligence enough to understand the basics because I don't want to be hand-holding anybody through it. I've done that too many times. Oh, the worst. And and when I invest a lot of time into somebody, and I'll do it. I'll sit down with you, man. If I, if I get that hustler mentality vibe from you and I see that you're actually trying and you got smart questions because you've done some research, I'll, I'll spend as much time as it takes for you to, you know, sit there and figure it out but i I gotta see that motivation from your end first but totally down my dms are always open hell yeah man i really appreciate that and i you know same thing with me i I post a lot of uh you know selling on amazon fba stuff um Mm -hmm. other than crypto posting and uh my dms were flooded with you know (laughs) tell me how to do this how do i make money with this it's like yo guys i've been trying to get a hold of charles and y'all flooding him man he ain't seeing my stuff (laughs) yeah well not only that but it's like (laughs) It's like, you know, come come with some actual questions. Don't just be like, hey, I want you hey, to walk how do me you, through this. How do you sign up for this? Yeah. How, how, how do you get a ref link? Like, like there, there's every question you've ever had in your life, you can put into Google the same way you ask that person and most often get an answer. Exactly. Definitely don't go for the first result, but dig through a little bit and get a general idea of what your question means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I really appreciate you extending that offer for Absolutely, people who man. are – 
willing to at least put a little bit of effort in at first. Um, and again, for my audience, don't expect, you know, anything here. If he wants <laughs> to help, he will. If not, tough shit. I mean, I don't really know what else to tell you. Um, but we're getting a little bit off topic here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and a lot of the things we actually discussed, I mean, they, they can get more complicated, so I understand that. But we did, you know, discuss a lot of the basics. But there's – we're scratching the surface with it, man. There's so much down this rabbit hole you can explore. And that's what I'm saying. I got a bunch of resources if people ever want to get a better idea of something. They can definitely hit me up for that too. I have tons of places I can show you information with and – very detailed guides and people's actual journals where they've done these things you want to do and where they failed, where they've succeeded. And, um, you know, and you can just bounce stuff off me too. So there's no problem. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, um, I, we could, you know, there could almost be a full podcast on this just to like, you know, explore different aspects of this industry. Um, mine's a crypto podcast. And so this is just going to be the basic overview Um, And we're not going to get too deep into anything. But you mentioned some resources. Is there any off the top of your head, any people, any websites that you know of um, that I can throw in the description so that, you know, people can check that out? Yeah, the one main one, if people are just generally interested in making money online, is a site called blackhatworld.com. It's like a forum site. It's an old school place, but a lot of really smart and successful people are there. It's kind of like the crypto Twitter of online market. Right Um, on go there they have every section for everything you could ever want to do they got cryptocurrency they got amazon fba they got affiliate marketing you know ebay stuff everything Uh, i would definitely check that out first perfect yeah we'll have that in the description i'm sure most people have heard of the site um, but for anyone who hasn't it's blackhatworld.com and we'll have a link Um, so i appreciate that Uh, now here's something i like to ask everyone who's coming on it kind of gives my guest a chance to talk about what they've got going on um and that is you know what you're most excited for in the coming 12 months and i know that's a pretty general Uh, question yeah personally i just (laughs) want to see how the markets react after you know we get to towards the end of the year i'm really watching bitcoin right now uh trying to see what it's going to do and otherwise been a generally boring last couple of months it has Um, has been (laughs) project wise uh I know it's going to sound like an endless shill from my end, but Theta, Theta token. Okay. I like what I like what they're doing with the uh, Sliver.tv and trying to basically touch into that online gaming esports type thing, uh, like Twitch and you know, Mixer do, and uh, seeing how they're decentralizing storage, basically me- media, media bandwidth and things like that. So, so it's not costing a lot of these companies a lot of money to to host these videos like YouTube and stuff like that. They spend millions and millions of dollars just on on servers to to host these videos for you guys to watch free and then uh that, that's about it man i mean I, I could probably think of a lot of other little things that i'm interested in but i'm just kind of playing playing the markets right now sitting on my hands a little bit and being patient there we go so wrapping wrapping up the year and then theta token um what about any i guess new sites that have got these new referral campaigns going on. Anything like that that you have your eye on? Uh, yeah, a new one, actually. I mean, other than FTX, which you guys have probably seen Gainesy and everybody else kind of promoting, uh, Neon District. Um, I, I don't know how many people are familiar with that, but the uh, the game that um, Coin Artist and a whole bunch of other people are making, uh, they, had, they have a really nice referral system for... Uh, getting people to get founders keys and stuff like that there we go where you get free items in game and those things are more interesting than me personally than you know chilling anything that's up and coming because i don't i don't have anything off the top of my head that's that's really interesting right now honestly i've seen so much stuff die and start that or start and die that it it just fizzles into the ground after so many promises i don't want to get anybody hyped about anything that i don't know more about them then yeah, I feel like that's that's a problem that we see with a lot of these quote unquote influencers is they'll show something <laughs> that they don't really know about and then yeah. it'll fizzle off. Um, but you talked about Neon District and FTX, um, and it's funny because I've actually been thinking about reaching out to Coin Artists as they kind of get closer to dude getting... Cybergoys and all those guys, man. If you can get them on and you have a you have a thing you want to talk about, just building games and how how it integrates with cryptocurrency and 
owning owning your items in game other than like you know buying loot crates off steam or whatever yeah. for csgo <laughs> you you actually own every asset that you earn so that, that that's a cool thing for me i'm really really into that technical stuff yeah so i actually had uh one of my buddies from architects jeff on to talk about um you know crypto gaming and stuff and one mm-hmm. of the big things he was talking about was F- nfts um yeah non-fungible tokens exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah he was super hyped on it so it sounds like there's some general interest from others oh, yeah. as well um so that's good to hear so cool that that's kind of you know an overview of what you're excited for uh, I've got one to plug myself. Um, eToro is running this new campaign. Um, I'll probably be, you know, putting some stuff out later on it. Um, but other than that, yeah, kind of same. Just kind of seeing where things are going. Um, Dude, eToro, the guy that runs their social media or who does their their ad copies, is pretty good. Sometimes, man, I give him props because some of this shit is pretty interesting. It's funny and very very uh, informative in most cases. I, I really like that company. Is that uh, is that Brad? I have no idea. I, I've just seen it in passing some of their ads and stuff like okay, that. And I've yeah. Made comments like, "Man, whoever's running your team right now on the marketing is doing a fucking fantastic yeah. job." <laughs> well, okay, that's good to hear from someone like you that I, the one that I have picked, is, you know, doing all right. So mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> that, was nice. They, yeah, uh, uh, them and um, shit. Who was the other place I used? Trade King. Uh, back when I was getting into the the markets, those are the exchanges that I used, so or the brokerages. There we go. Yeah, I think they've got some sort of program going on where you can like, I don't know if it's you can like piggyback off other traders or you can like copy their trades or something like that. But it's some new promo mm-hmm. that they're going to be running, uh, so nice. that sh- that should be out you know sometime soon. Um, but okay, man, you've given us you know your background. You've talked about some of the ways that you can make money through referral links. Uh, crypto referral links and then you gave us a pretty much step-by-step process on how to get set up um but and we you know we talked about the wrong ways to do it you know you put a link in your bio yeah. um but can you just and, give and us again in a very gen i'm sorry go ahead no no ahead. please please go ahead yeah and and again i just i can't stress this enough everything we talked about is still very general there's specifics for every process and that's what i'm saying if people want to reach out and know more about those or how to how to do specific things that's that's what I enjoy most is when you want to dig into a certain topic and get into the nuts and bolts of it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I just didn't want to get into anything too specific. Yeah. Just yeah. Cause... Again, we'd be here for hours if we did, man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Turn this into a four-hour podcast. Hey. Um, <laughs> everyone gets bored of those, so I try to keep uh-huh. mine short. But um, okay, so can you just give us your biggest tip, like your your one tip that everyone needs to know um, if they're trying to go down this path? Absolutely. The if you're interested, okay, you got that 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 I don't know what you want to call it that fire or that like that itch. fuzz that, yeah. that that itch that makes you want to do something. What whatever it is, man, you want to learn how to program, you want to learn how to trade, you want to, you know, start a YouTube channel. Everybody thinks that you're gonna get instant results as soon as you do one thing. the The biggest tip is to just keep pushing at it, man. Your community that you build is gonna tell you what you're doing right and wrong, and keep just keep creating stuff find new ways to do something go take a walk think of something else maybe you're just not approaching a different angle but when you start something and you're excited about it try to figure out why you get excited about it and keep manipulating yourself into doing that thing because that's the way it makes you feel you want to enjoy what you're doing and once you make money once if that's what you want to do online once you once you get that first couple of dollars man and you see something works right one time try to duplicate that success and just keep at it until you're at a point where you're comfortable and want to maybe explore something else. But at least you did it, you got success from it. Anybody that makes twenty, thirty, forty dollars online is successful once, can do it again and again and again. Spot on, man. I you know, I've got this podcast and it's the content that I create and mm-hmm. it started off so slow. You know, I'm forty plus episodes in now. Uh people listening it's just grown exponentially um but for you know months a couple months at least um i was dropping episodes and you know there was a couple hundred people listening to it um and i i just i stopped doing it for four five six months because i was like you know this is this isn't working for me yeah yeah i took a big break in between um where i just I, i recorded a bunch but i didn't put anything out um, and then I stopped recording altogether. Um, okay. 
but I'm back. I'm back now. I'm going as hard as possible, and uh, <laughs> I've made some tweaks, and I think things are looking up finally. But uh, that that initial hype when I first started died off, and I almost quit. And I wouldn't be here today talking to you if that were the fact. Um, so you know, continue at it. Make the tweaks that are needed. You're not going to make money instantly. Um, and I, I feel like this isn't, f- you know, free, easy money. Um, like some people like to think it's another kind of business that you're starting. Um, so I really appreciate that being your biggest tip and trying to keep yeah, people and, from, sorry, go ahead. Fizzling out. And that's the thing. You got to enjoy it first. If you enjoy it enough, you'll eventually do it long enough to, to reach the tipping point which is basically you've done it long enough, you're starting to gain traction, and then it becomes its own beast that you've created, and it's just every you're in a flow state. Everything's working right. Every Everything's, you know, every in your case, every interview you do is just so fluid and natural, and it, it's like second nature to you, man, and that's where you got to get. you got to get in that flow state of doing it so you can see the, the fruits of your, of your labor, so to say. Spot on, man. Uh, so I... I really appreciate it. You know, I've learned a lot. I, like I said, have run a few shitty ref link, you know, click this. We all have, bro. Don't feel bad about it. But you you can say that you have. Yeah. So that way you know what not to do next time. Exactly. And the thing is, like, I did see some money. (laughs) I, I saw some money start to flow in. And so I was like, oh, this is, you know, sparked my interest. Let me have yeah. you on and maybe learn a couple more things, a couple more tips. I mean, I'm sure mm-hmm. everyone who's listening to this has at one point put up a referral link. Um, with <laughs> At least yeah, once, yeah, yeah. without even knowing it. <laughs> exactly. And I'm sure they've seen varying degrees of success. Uh, so I think this will be super helpful for them uh, for the next one that they want to throw up. So exactly. it, before, and everything, sorry, nothing lasts forever either, man. You can do a campaign and it'll eventually just lose interest either because it's the... the the person or place you're promoting, you know, they do something bad and that's not your fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And it, you, all that work you did kind of just goes away, but you got to know the next steps into creating something else. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it with exchanges and stuff like that, where you've built up this huge user base. Um, mm-hmm. and then eventually interest just, just dies off. Um, so before we go, is there anything else that you wanted to touch on that you think you may have missed? No, man, everything's in there. I'm just, you know, glad to be able to voice my opinion and maybe maybe get somebody on the path to doing what they actually enjoy doing, man. I really hope so. I hope people start reaching out to you after this episode. And again, I really appreciate you coming on. Not a problem, man. My pleasure. All right, guys, that wraps up another episode of the Crypto Entrepreneurs Podcast. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, the show's for you guys. I make it for you guys. Um, And it wouldn't happen without you guys. So uh, I really do want to thank you for that. Um, And, you know, if you found anything in this episode helpful or any of the previous episodes that I've put out, um, can you just do me a huge favor and leave us a review? Um, It would really help us out. Um, And then on top of that, uh, could you also share it with any friends, family, uh, anyone on social media? You know, if, if there's something that spoke to you in any of these episodes, I would really appreciate it if you could do that for us. Um, So thanks again for listening and uh, hope to see you next episode.